Revit Architecture 2011 is um, very, very close to being released. So, and a lot of people are starting to talk about it. So, in this video, we're going to um, demonstrate some of the uh, some of the new features of uh, 2011. So, let's pull it up. One of the first noticeable changes is to the uh, recent files uh, startup page. There's an addition of the uh, resources area, uh, which will take you to what's news, uh, the help menu, um, various uh, videos and such. So let's go ahead and open up a uh, small project that I've developed in 2011. So immediately, uh, we can see um, some uh, minor additions in the user interface. Most notably is the uh, properties palette that uh, it runs in Revit Architecture 2011. Um, it's uh, a modeless palette, so it's always running. Um, we can close it if we like, um, but we're able to select objects and um, Anytime you select an object, and just like in the AutoCAD applications, the um, properties palette is going to update with the information associated with uh, the object that's been selected. We can go in here, we can change um, various things about the object, and it'll uh, it'll update you know automatically right away. Another thing a lot of people are talking about is the consistent colors um, in Revit Architecture. Uh, this is uh, right now just shaded um, with edges, um, shaded. Um, if we go to consistent colors, what the consistent colors is doing is it's showing things um, a little more um, consistent with the materials that are being applied. Um, and another really cool thing um, that I find um, that's really neat is in the Revit architecture we've got the ability to now um, apply a background image for our renderings uh, which gives uh, your renderings a lot more context and um, so we're able to go in here and um, say image and then we can go in here and, uh, and select an image as our background we can have it um, we've got some controls over scale whether or not it's an original size whether or not we stretch it to fit our camera view, put in width and height parameters. Um, and we, when we go and render um, anywhere that that, uh, that image would be viewable, for instance, in this particular application, we're going to be doing a uh, interior rendering. So the result is going to be that um, we'll see um, the New York skyline out of our office window here. Um, so. We'll go ahead and render this thing, and uh, we'll see how this thing comes out. So what we see here is the resulting image um, of the rendering here, and we can see that uh, we've got uh, the New York skyline um, showing in the, in the rendering background there, so very cool.